Welcome back crew to Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down a beautiful Hallover inlet here in Miami, Florida. And today, if you can't tell from these images, it's gonna be another rough one. We got about a 20 mile an hour offshore wind, tide rolling out of Hallover, man, and those waves are absolutely pounding today. Gonna be interesting to see how our captains fare as they step in the ring and try to battle with the inlet. And that's going to bring us to the first round of our competition where the boats are going to step up into the ring and toss a formula in to do battle with haul over. But let's go ahead and get our competition started. And this crew is coming out a little bit slow, probably needs to get behind the throttle just a little bit to try and get this bow up. And man, that crew is going to eat it right there. Everybody in that boat is probably soaked now. That boat just absolutely nosedived as they went underneath the wave. Again, just came out a little slow. Really need a little more throttle behind it to try and get that bow up. Here we'll see it again from the drone. And man, they go over the top and right here, it's just down and under and water for everybody as they work their way out. Now, this is just the beginning for this crew. They've still got a long way to go as they try and make their way out. So Cap leans back into the throttles right here, tries to get them going as that one wave really knocked him off pace. So he's got to lean back into it try and get this boat moving again before the next big set comes in and winds up getting them again but right here you can just tell bobbing like a cork i mean they are just struggling to get this thing moving i mean cap's really not leaning into the throttles and the slow roll approach is just not the way to take it on here now don't get me wrong not everybody's going to be a full send guy down here at Hallover, and everybody doesn't need to be, but just when you've got the proper boat and the proper equipment, just a little bit of throttle can save you a lot of headaches. Unfortunately for this crew, as we see here as they take a pounding, they're going to wind up taking a loss for the boats here in the first round. And the boats wind up taking a brutal loss in the first round. And here in the second round, the boats are going to toss a little bit of a ring around us as I'm not 100% sure what this boat is. But let us know in the comments. I can't tell. Maybe it's a Donzi or an older cigarette. But once again, I'm just not sure. It kind of has that old Donzi vibe for sure. But let me know in the comments if you know what this is. But our crew is working their way out of haul over. And they are up and down heavy. It is just a rough day. Especially for a smaller vessel like this as they try and work their way out. So far, they appear to be doing okay they're keeping the bow up trying to just slow roll their way out and right there the bow goes under and they wind up getting water two times in a row and it is just a rough ride for this crew it's almost not fair for some of these boats on a day like today where haulovers firing this heavy nothing but the biggest boats seem to make it out without any issues or without stuffing anything under a certain length man they always just wind up struggling and as we see they wind up getting that bow underneath and this crew winds up soaked as they work their way out of the inlet and unfortunately that means that this crew is going to take a loss for the boats in this round and that's going to put the boats in a little bit of trouble as they go down two to nothing early there's a possibility if Hallover keeps firing this way Hallover could bring an early end to what's normally our five round competition if it goes ahead and sweeps the first three rounds but the boats are gonna toss a ringer in the ring here in the third round as they're gonna bring a massive 32 meter azimuth yacht to try and do battle with Hallover. But here we go, and this crew's in trouble right off the bat. They were trying to go under the bridge, had to dodge some boats, and man, they're gonna hit. Unbelievable. The captain of the boat, it looks like, thought that it was just a little too high on the tie for him to be able to make it under, but look at the damage that is caused by hitting the bridge. It has been a wild week or two with boats hitting bridges, as you guys may already know, especially with the Baltimore incident and several other things that have occurred over the last couple weeks. And this one just caps it off as well. The damage is done here. They don't even really get to tackle haul over as they don't even wind up actually clearing the bridge. And unfortunately, that's going to mean I have no choice but to give this vessel a loss and Hallover is going to sweep three to nothing and take the early win in our episode. Thanks for watching, crew. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Boats vs. Hallover. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at the inlets. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got the Miami Boat Ramps channel that focuses on all the hilarity that happens at the boat ramps in South Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.